G'day, I'm Tom from Purpose Built Moto. Sitting behind me is a 2009 Triumph Scrambler, fitted with a custom cozy sidecar. This project was done as a collaboration between myself, Sandbar, a local venue, and Victoria Coffee. So let me take you through the custom work done to deliver this unforgettable project. Building a motorcycle sidecar outfit with this amount of detail is a huge undertaking. Something that caught me by surprise was the unbelievable amount of man hours needed to complete the vision I had for this build. Representing Victoria Coffee and Sandbar, the project needed to bring a message of class, community and ultimate good times. It had to look fun and make you want to get closer. This bike will be used to deliver cold brew coffee to the people, making everyone's morning being handed an artisan crafted coffee from an amazing motorcycle sidecar. I'll come back to the bike's detail later, but first, let me take you through the work finished on the sidecar. The passenger hatch was cut and shortened to give the sidecar a longer silhouette over the nose cone. This would become a big feature of the chair, with the front being cut and modified to open like the hood of a vintage car, housing an internally insulated esky and a cafe bottle display. All of this is removable so the sidecar can still seat a passenger. The wheels and fender on the sidecar were custom built. A 17 inch specially machined rim is wrapped in a post vintage style fender and finished with vertically stacked purpose built moto orbit tail lights. The body of the car along with some select details on the bike were trimmed with solid brass bar. Flowing over the fluid body lines of the outfit, moulded in and finished to contrast with the arctic white we used for the triumph powered sidecar. The brass moulding was brush finished and clear coated to eliminate oxidisation and give a nice depth in finish that would last. The modifications to the Triumph Scrambler donor bike seemed endless with nearly every part of the bike modified in some way. The frame was hoop short and a tail cowl shaped with built in LED tail light. The frame hoop was detailed with brass moulding that finished to a sharp point underneath the seat. The bike sits on a set of soft lip 17 inch rims, wrapped in Shinko 003 Stealth tyres. The huge rear tyre is a 190 with specially offset sprockets to make sure it all works as intended. Up front, I used a Thruxton fairing that houses a 7 inch Flashpoint classic headlight. The suspension was repurposed from a Triumph Tiger and modified to suit the ride height we wanted. With an alley fender and handmade fender struts, complementing the hand polished fork legs. The gauges are mounted up front on the modified fairing frame. This keeps the custom triple clamp and Tarozzi clip-ons unimpeded. The engine was detailed with colour matched EFI bodies with Free Spirits parts brass caps. My good mates at DNA Filters made me some specialised pod filters for the job. Laser engraved with the purpose built Moto Delta. Built with my own two hands, the two into one exhaust hugs close to the lines of a stator cover, snaking their way to a polished stainless steel muffler. The 900cc twin thunders its way down the road. Overlooking the bike, I wanted it to flow from front to back, utilising the smooth lines accented by the handcrafted brass moulding the seat was shaped to suit. The upholstery on the Triumph sidecar is world class. A beautiful vintage brown leather was used for the bike seat, grips, sidecar seat and clip-on sidecar cover that give the entire project a feeling of class. No matter where this Triumph sidecar is, people are going out of their way to come and have a look at the countless intricate details on the sidecar outfit. Whether you hear it or see it first, this thing will make you look twice. Being given the opportunity to put my vision into a project of this scale was an exciting challenge and something that I'm happy to put my name to. If you want to see more of our projects, make sure you subscribe and leave us a comment on what you thought of the build.